Some claim Invesco Mortgage is one of the best income producing stocks to buy. Invesco Mortgage, ticker IVR, currently has a dividend yield of over 20%. Let's break it down. We'll look at the good, the bad, and the ugly so you can have a fair assessment. This real estate investment trust focuses on financing and managing residential and commercial mortgage-backed securities and mortgage loans. Invesco Mortgage Capital has a short-term rank of number one, a strong buy with Zacks Research. They have increased the net interest margin by 0.63 to 2.86% by rotating the agency RMBS portfolio into higher coupon investments. During the quarter, they also held $677.1 million of unrestricted cash and unencumbered assets. The Federal Reserve is continuing to accelerate monetary policy tightening as escalating inflation continues to pressure yields higher. The agency RMBS performed poorly as elevated with interest rate volatility and a higher probability of sales by the Federal Reserve weighed on valuations. This caused the agency RMBS investment portfolio to decrease to $4.3 billion. The majority of non-agency CMBS investments are collateralized by loans benefiting from property type diversification. Increasing rents and occupancy rates support credit investment valuations. The table below provides a reconciliation of USGAAP, net income loss attributable to common stockholders, to earnings available for distribution for the following periods. Looking at tip ranks, they give this stock a smart score of 6. One analyst rating consensus is a moderate sell. The average price target is $14 which represents an 18% downside. From the current $17 share price, on average, investors allocate 4.7% of their portfolios to Invesco Mortgage and have a positive sentiment in the recent quarter. Looking at their financial overview, Invesco Mortgage's market cap is currently $567 million. The company's earnings per share, trailing 12 months is negative $11.34, and its P.E. ratio is negative 1.51. If you like these types of stocks but are turned off by the last quarter's financials, here are a few similar stocks. As you can see by the performance, Invesco comes in dead last. The high dividend yield on this stock is making up for the lack of performance compared to its sector rivals. Let's take a look at one that is high on the list. Starwood Property Trust, ticker STWD. Starwood Property Trust is a newly formed company focused primarily on originating, investing in, financing, and managing commercial mortgage loans, and other commercial real estate related debt investments. A few highlights from last quarter include $3.8 billion of originating new investments, and funding across business lines. They have ample capacity to grow with the ability to issue an additional $2.2 billion of corporate debt. They sold $220 million of residential loans at 99.7% of par, and completed their 18th and 19th non-QM securitizations, totaling $828 million. They also obtained nine new servicing assignments with a UPB of $9 billion, bringing their named portfolio to over $105 billion, the first time it has exceeded $100 billion since 2016. They also closed a $500 million facility for infrastructure loans and completed $1.2 billion in new or upsized commercial lending financing facilities. Their commercial mix comprises 65% of their portfolio representing post-COVID originations, with an evolving collateral mix with more multifamily, industrial, and less retail and office. Their commercial portfolio's top three property types are multifamily, office, and hotels. Starwood's geographic diversification includes the United States, Europe, Australia, and the Bahamas Bermuda area. Looking at Zach's research, they give this company a rank 3, hold. The dividend yield is 7.9%. Now looking at tip ranks, they give it a smart score of 10, outperforming. Based on five analysts giving stock ratings to Starwood property in the past three months, they give it a strong buy. The average price target is $27.40, with a high forecast of $30, and a low forecast of $25. The average price target represents a 12.9% change. On average, investors allocate 4.3% of their portfolios to Starwood, and have a positive sector outlook in the recent quarter. Starwood's financial statement shows that its market cap is currently $7.4 billion. The company's earnings per share trailing 12 months is $2.43. Its P.E. ratio is 9.92. Let me know your thoughts and what stock you would invest in in the comments. I enjoy sharing my insight with you and helping both of us become better traders and investors and find some success. Stay safe, stay patient, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Also, check out my other videos in the description for great deals and sign-up bonuses.